Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2020, Paper 2, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let B be a non-zero real number. Suppose there is a function f whose domain is all real values and codomain is all real values is a differentiable function such that f of 0 is 1. If the derivative f prime of f satisfies this equation, f prime x is equal to f of x divided by b square plus x square for all real values of x. Then which of the following statements is or are true? There are four options given. It is a multiple correct type question. The first two options are concerned about whether fx is increasing or decreasing respectively for b greater than 0, b less than 0. Third option and fourth option are related to f of x and f of minus x. Third option says f of x multiplied by f of minus x equal to 1 for all real values of x. Fourth option says f of x minus f of minus x equal to 0 for all real values of x. And we need to tell which of these four options is or are true. So let's solve it. Here f prime x is equal to f of x divided by b square plus x square. This f prime x I may also write as d f by dx where f is f of x. So upon cross multiplication I get and now upon integrating both sides I would get ln of mod f or fx is equal to 1 by b tan inverse x by b plus arbitrary constancy. Now since f of 0 is 1, as you put x to be 0, f of 0 becomes 1 and ln 1 is 0 and tan inverse 0 is also 0. So that essentially means this arbitrary constant is 0. <coughs> now f of x is equal to e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b. Now you may say mod of f of x should be equal to e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b. Then how have I written it directly so? We can say that why because f of 0 is 1 and not minus 1. So f of x equal to e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b is correct and not minus e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b. Now you may also say what if for some values of x f of x is e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b and for some other values of x what if fx is minus e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b. That's also not possible because f of x is differentiable function and hence also continuous because if you consider f of x to be plus e to the power for some x and minus e to the power for some x then there will be discontinuity at some x for sure because the value will change from negative to positive or positive to negative over some x and hence there will be discontinuity but it is not possible why because f of x is differentiable hence continuous. Now let's explore the options. E option says if b is greater than 0 then f is an increasing function. Indeed. Why? Because as x increases tan inverse x by b would also increase so would 1 by b tan inverse x by b and so would e to the power 1 by b tan inverse x by b. So that essentially means a is correct. Now if b is less than 0 then f is a decreasing function. Let's explore. Say b is less than 0. Let's say b is minus alpha where alpha is greater than 0. So what would that mean? That would mean f of x becomes e to the power 1 by minus alpha tan inverse x by minus alpha. And we know tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. So same tan inverse of minus x by alpha is minus tan inverse x by alpha. So minus and minus cancels out and we get the same expression e to the power 1 by alpha tan inverse x by alpha. 
where alpha is positive. So it essentially means even if b is negative, f of x remains to be increasing. So uh, this b option is wrong. Now let's uh, explore the c and d options which involves f of minus x. f of minus x is equal to e to the power 1 by b tan inverse of x by b. Oh, my bad, minus x by b. So this essentially becomes, as we have already seen, tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse x. So it basically becomes e to the power minus 1 by b tan inverse x by b. Basically, it is reciprocal of f of x, clearly. Yeah. So I can say f of x multiplied by f of minus x would be 1 for every x. And in the same way, I can say f of x minus f of minus x is not 0 compulsorily for all x. Is not 0 for, uh, you know, every x belong to real. So that essentially means C is correct, D is wrong. So that means options A and C are correct answers. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.